Okay, so now that we have finished the manage quality process in the quality management knowledge area of the sixth edition of the PINBOK in the crowd training interactive course, let's review what we talked about in terms of the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs. First, starting with the inputs. We had, naturally, the project management plan, which set out to tell us what we're to work on, what we're trying to manage because we went through all that effort to figure out what is it that we want to have in terms of quality, how we want to go about doing it, and now this is the execution of actually doing it. And so, hence, the project management plan, namely the quality management plan, is what we are using in this process to be able to make sure that we're in fact following through. Also, there's various different documents that correlate with what we're trying to think about what we're trying to consider, what we're trying to do, things like the um, stakeholder register, the communication um, log, maybe even to the uh, quality metrics that we have set out and uh, what it uh, has in terms of instructions and what we're trying to follow through with. And then also there could be some templates and other organizational process assets that are going to assist us in performing that work. All of those are your inputs which feed into our tools and techniques. There are many, so let's, uh, let's go through each one individually. When we're managing the quality, we have these plans and these metrics that we've uh, set out. Well, then, or at least the instructions on how to do these metrics, then we should have the ability to gather the data accordingly. So the techniques in which we do that could be checklists, check sheets, uh, um, marks, however it might be that we're using to, well, get, get the data to whether or not we are in fact meeting the quality standards in which we set for this project. Also, um, when we get this data, we're going to have to analyze it and see how it meets or does not meet or what does it mean, first and foremost, in terms of quality and how we look at things we're going to have to decide on what to do. So there's going to be some decision making on what is the best approach? Which way do we go? Do we go that way or should we go that way? And maybe we do it all by a vote or we have other methodology to look at the different criteria and make the right choice. But we're going to have to use this technique throughout managing our quality to make sure that we are in fact going the right way or making decisions on tweaking and planning and um, and improving upon our quality. Also too, um, there are different ways when we gather that data or the other data that comes in to represent it. We can use um, affinity diagrams where they kind of cluster together based on certain ideas, or we can have flow charts or control charts or many other ways, but really it all comes down to uh, some type of format that represents the data. And also then too, um, we can perform audits where we have somebody come in and they get their hat on and they look closely at what we're doing. They point out what's well working well what's not um, typically this is somebody from the outside that comes looking in that is uh, trying to give us some advice on the way that we're performing our quality processes the quality management so uh, what they think we should do differently and uh, so that expertise could come from within your own organization or they could be um, from outside uh, then you also have another technique called design for X and that design for X as well what are you you designing are you designing for what are you trying to work for work on to um, to try to figure out what is it that you are you're trying to get, make it more secure uh, more stable uh, using less material whatever the case might be and I'll label this one as audit so we remember that that one is on the audit and then um, and then when you do find issues or you think you might come across uh, potential problems in quality you are going to you are going to have to figure out well what's wrong you're gonna have to problem solve or what could potentially go wrong so that problem solving 
is where you are going through a common methodology to in order to try to figure out what could go wrong or to assure that it won't go wrong any further and that would be your problem solving and the last one there are many different quality oops <laughs> management tools out there and methodologies so we're just going to sort of label those all together as improvement methods those could be your um, plan do check act your um, all the various different tool, um, improvement methods that are used in uh, quality outside even of project management where we talk about quality management as a discipline and how these various tools and techniques can be used to make sure that your quality is adhering to its set standards. After the tools and techniques, we have our outputs. Your outputs, one, should be a series of of reports that tell everything how they're going and not going and uh, the information around it so that's the quality reports based on how we're managing the quality uh, also the evaluation documents that come about from the tests and what has occurred and not occurred so I'll label that as well as the um, tests and evaluation documents and then we also have um, <clears throat> uh, updates to your project management plan based on whether things are working or not working and that generally comes from a change request and those change requests are going to be utilized or reviewed and, and um, decided upon based on the integrated change control that way we are not just focusing in on quality but we're focusing on all the different needs of the project and then we might have as well updates to our various project documents and paperwork and other kind of materials that we're using in our project things like the lessons log or register risk register our issues log and many other project documentation. So that is a quick look at the sixth edition of the managed quality process and that is from the crowd training and we'll do some more as we keep working on this process and in this knowledge area.